Those are weird places for apostrophes. Sit down and shut up. Oh, but he's done part of the as Hey, we. I was about to say we paid our ticket, but we didn't. We just jumped on board. Let's be nice to people, knowing what's going to happen to them anyway. Funny thing, whenever I played Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, you get to name your guild, and I would always name my guild Avalanche. Cool. Uh, gaming info there. A map of the Midgar Rail System, of course I want to look at it. Can you make out anything on that? Station. Sly. Fake IDs. Hmm, I'm gonna go buy some booze here in a minute. There's a lot of exposition in this early stuff, but it's part of it. I think the whole first disc is a lot of exposition until you uh, get out of get out of Midgar. But man, I remember that moment, that first moment you get out of Midgar, and it's like, please insert disc two, and you're off to the races, man. And it's such a big world, and there's so much to do. And and we're gonna be, like I said, we're gonna try to do 100%. So we're gonna get the gold chocobo, we're gonna get knights of the round, we're gonna defeat all the weapons. Um, we're gonna do all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna do chocobo races. We're gonna blow the whistle for the dolphin. We're gonna play the submarine game. We're gonna go. We're gonna spend a lot of time at the gold saucer. We might dedicate a whole episode to that. Snowboard. Aw, oh, snowboard. Apparently they're making an iOS version of that snowboard game, <laughs> which is crazy to me. skipping all of this dialogue, but... Good point, Cloud. In these videos, like I said, in 97, these videos blew me away. I still have my official PlayStation magazine that reviewed Final Fantasy 7 and they they were like will games ever look better than this and I agreed I was like there's no way but I'm so glad these games are on Steam because I have 7 and 8 um 8's one I've never beaten 8 but I've gotten probably 2 hours um like 2 hours till the end of 8 and I liked it I the junctioning system was a little weird. The thing I didn't like was that stuff leveled with you. I hate any game that does that, because I love power leveling. You're gonna see a few episodes of this where all we do is kinda randomly power level, so... Which I know will be a ton of fun. That'll be a blast to you. I like 
always bragging that we're gonna blow the shit out of everything. I think this is pretty much exactly where I was um, in my other save file. Haha. Oh, -ha. Speaking of, let's do that. See, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good on the first disc. Like, I know kind of what to do and where to go and. These little like side things is pretty cool. They did a very good job at building this world because there's a lot of information they give you, but it all kind of ties back into itself and it does really well. Like I couldn't tell you the first thing about the Final Fantasy VIII world. I know you're in like college, you're part of the seed program, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> I mean, you know. But this one, like, has its own world system, and, I mean, it, it just feels like a, a place. Even with the silly, silly, blocky people, and... There's a sense of, there is a sense of place here that aren't in a lot of other games. Let's go to this meeting. Tifa was um, always a pretty good character, I think. Yep, totally fought with her. You know, and like I said before, it's not cool to like Final Fantasy VII. You're deemed kind of a poser or something, or you don't know anything about video games if you like this game, but I love Final Fantasy VII, and big middle finger to people who fucking, you know, it's like, haters gonna hate, so. About what, Wedge? I think Marlene, the, the daughter, actually serves drinks, which is funny. They're like, look after the bar, Marlene, while we're gone. She's like, alright. How old is she? Seven. Especially the first, I guess, four hours or so. A lot of exposition.
See, in Cloud, in the game, is a little bit more nuanced of a character, and that's what I like, because all the other promotional material and shit, he's this mopey, like, one-trick pony. See, and they do a lot of foreshadowing, like, stuff like that. Oh, you look pretty tired. It's like, well, there's a reason. <laughs> but we'll get to that when we get to it. Nothing. Then I try to go outside and then Tifa comes back up. Yeah. Please join us. Sorry. Sorry, babe. Yeah, apparently. Promise. I didn't forget a promise. What promise? Literally, what promise? <laughs> so in 1990... I always still had the same haircut. <laughs> Me and my spiky hair have been waiting all night. I think I have some big ass feet. Detail. Man, oh man. I guess this would be Final Fantasy's version of a mullet. You know? Spiky in the front, party in the back. Oh, first name drop of Sephiroth. Right there. The great Sephiroth.
Man, watching this and seeing all like the pre-rendered backgrounds and stuff like that makes me wonder what the PC version of Resident Evil 2 looks like now. It's probably so much easier to find items <laughs> on the PC version. Because, God, it's so easy to find items on this one. And I say that, and I'm going to jinx myself and miss, like, completely obvious items. I have a very good feeling. I'll try to be in the newspapers. Local man robs supermarket. This is decent character development. You know, flashback, oh, if you get real big and famous and all that. And see, they're trying to reference it and put it to the thing that's happening right now. We're like, don't leave, join Avalanche, come rescue us. But like, as the game goes on, more specific instances happen, and it's pretty good. There's a lot to this game, and it gets a bad rap. I will agree that Final Fantasy VI is probably the better Final Fantasy. But 7's still my favorite. Um, I think it, well, it might be a tie between 7 and 12. Because 12 is just so different. But yeah, 7 has a good story. For what it is, good story. There's a lot of things that are inferred. The only complaint I have overall with kind of the story and the delivery, besides, of course, the, uh translation being a little wonky sometimes, is, uh, they don't go into Zack too much. They kind of, they just barely discuss it, they show the truck ride, that's about it. I will say Crisis Core is kind of the, it's one of the coolest games I've ever played, and it kind of goes in great detail about it, and you know how it ends, but it's, it's such a good game. Barrett Stash. Thanks, bro. That's a scumbag thing, Cloud. Taking Marlene's school money. I have a daughter. I have a two-year-old daughter. So, like, any time that you're saving for childhood education, fucking save that shit. Thanks, Cloud, for taking my daughter's money. Every time I hear this song, there's a, uh... There's a remix album that I highly recommend called Final Fantasy VII, and it mixes, uh, it uses sound clips from Final Fantasy VII and mixes it with hip hop um, artists. This one is Barrett's theme, and um, MF Doom, my favorite MC ever, does an amazing song like over it, and it sounds so good. I need to, oh, I need to find that album again and listen to it, cause God, that's some good shit. See, there's Marlene back behind the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink from Marlene. Good morning, Cloud. It's 9 a.m. Would you like a drink? Oh, <laughs> I should say this just because Barrett's standing right there. Bam! I don't know what you mean. Yeah, you do, Typho. Yeah, you do. Hey, Marlene. Have a drink, please? Nope. Okay, we know. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, service. Bartender. She can't even see over the thing. Okay. Sector 5 reactor. They said there were eight reactors and we took out one of them. Head for the station. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud, for the next mission. Oh, God. 
Will it make us sit through the Materia explanation? I love the Materia system, don't get me wrong, love it, but this is the longest fucking tutorial. You wouldn't understand, please. Okay, awesome. Access menu. Awesome. See, that's all it needs to say, is go into the options thing and equip Materia, and the Materia is self-explanatory. You know, each weapon has different materia slots, some of them are linked, some of them aren't, whatever is linked. It, it's kind of self-explanatory. Probably my favorite system in Final Fantasy. I love the job system in 5, but the materia system, there's just something so cool about kind of concocting your own combinations. And especially when you have so many mine materias in Knights of the Round, and that's really the only way you can beat... Is that Emerald Weapon? Because Ruby Weapon's the one in the desert. Yeah, watch the store. All right, good luck. Time to drink. Can we get a drink now? Take care. Oh, come on. You're making drinks right there. I can't help. Dang. Um, we're gonna go up to this little tutorial area real quick. Not to listen to any tutorials, but there's a save point, so we're gonna do that. Move, kiddo. Here, hit the save point. Bouncing save point. And the posing dancing guys for some reason. Dang it, I need to switch. Oh my god. I need to switch these buttons. There we go. Yeah, they're full health. Point, yes, I didn't mean to talk to you, ma'am. Thank you. I know. Yep. Sure. Mm hmm. I do remember that. Oh, now show me a big picture of the save point. <laughs> oh, no. That should be all you need to know. Yeah, kind of. It's a save point. I'll probably see you again sometime down the road. Wait, is the save point talking to me? Take care. What's in that? Oh, and I'm a treasure chest. Oh, dang it. Give me that materia. All materia. There we go. Oh, awesome. Thanks, bro. A lot of items or box types. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll save again now that I got stuff. Should I equip the materia? I probably should. Let me do that real quick. Um, materia. Lightning and ice. She can use... Let's have her be our healer. Nah. All's a great materia though, man. So good. For those that have not played it before, whenever you equip, uh... I'll actually go in and take a look at this again. What you can do is... Let's do the material in here. If you see right here how ice and lightning, those two are linked together. Let's say... Actually, let me do that. Materia... Actually, let me take... Let me take lightning off... Ice... And all. That way, whenever I cast ice... It hits everybody, all of the enemies, all at the same time. So we'll do that, and the materia will give you lightning. There it is. Good to go. Let's do this. I know there's probably a bunch of items and stuff I'm missing, but I kind of want to get to the good stuff. Save point. I, I'm one of those crazy guys that saves all of the time. I quick save PC games all the time. Every time I see a save point, I do it. Train. I love these little bad animations. Oop. Door closed. Set up a private car, split up. Hoodlums. The greasers. <laughs> Poppycock. The hoodlums. 
Pennywinkles. I'm just making up words now. <laughs> Super in your face aggressive Barrett is the best thing. Because of guys like you, what does that mean, sir? Hmm. <laughs> oh god. Barrett. Dropping the F bombs. Wait. Yeah, F bomb. And then some you lucky bitch. Pretty sure. I'm just counting the you know the the uh, team that did the translation had to have fun with the uh, censored curse words. <laughs> Busting up my rhythm. IDs, how will we ever get beer? I already used that joke like four times. It wasn't funny the first time, but I still I'm still doing it. 11.45 Pacific Standard Time. So much time in these cars. I think I missed an item in that last one. Oh well, there's probably a potion. We got all sorts of potions. There it moved. Ah, pickpocket, fucking guy. Let's jump out of a moving train. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That's not what she wanted to hear, Clyde. Wait, I'm... Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what? Come on. Let's move it. Come on, anyway. Ain't nobody got time for that. See, and if they would redo the translation now, they would add stuff like that. So I don't know if that's the best thing I've ever heard of the worst. <laughs> By now, they're about two miles away from Tifa, because she already jumped out.
See, and the crazy thing about the Steam version is they gave the, uh, the boosters, where you can, like, automatically boost up to level 99 and get Infinity Gill and all this stuff, but we're gonna play it legit. Hector's just down this tunnel. This really bad picture. See, now we'll do a little example of the, uh... Magic, ice, ball. It's gonna be so crazy seeing some of these enemies again. Cause like I said, I haven't played this game in about five years. Bingo. That's why the all material is so rad. Almost there. God, those are some big ass laser beams. Come on this way. Slide on in. Let's just go for it. Let's go down. There we go. Nice. It repairs or uh, replenishes magic power or mana points or whatever MP stands for. God, that's an ugly looking pre rendered background. Good lord, man. Oh, there's a, there's a good old wedge down there in the lower left corner. Don't be so hard on yourself. All you have to do is now is just run through, uh, run through tunnels and Now, I'm still pretty sure that all material will do this, even if you have enemies on two different sides of me. But we'll check. Well, just those two, I guess. So. Interesting. And the materia system is nice because it's really easy, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, but you can do very cool customizations for it, like especially, yeah, when you get the mine materia. Um, there's certain boss fights with undead creatures that if you cure them, you kill them instantly. Um, that's actually how we're going to beat one of the bosses later on in the game. Uh, I think it does like two or three cures and that's it. Because it hits them for max damage every single time. Nice. Good work. And we're almost there with Cloud and Tifa too. Doing good. $2,000! Super excited. We're saving all our money for the fun.